Hey guys, welcome back. It's Guardian Angel or Guardian Angel, whichever you prefer. That is my YouTube. Hey guys, welcome back. It's Guardian Angel or Guardian Angel, whichever you prefer. That is my YouTube stuff. But I'm going also going to be uploading this on YouTube, so that's good. Um, welcome to Midnight's Cafe. You shall see in a second. There we go. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. If you're not, I'm very sorry. Um, She's a lady. Alrighty. Let's just get begin. <clears throat> I had never felt this bored. Until this day I'd spent all of my life studying, or at least it felt so. Of course that wasn't true. I had been only, I had only been studying for what, six months? Maybe a little more. I'd have I'd had so I had I'd, uh, I'd had many choices as for what I'd do after high school. Did I? I mean, I'd only chosen what my parents wanted. Since since ever they only wanted perfect children. Children who wouldn't disappoint them. Children who wouldn't bring shame onto the family. Oh don't get me wrong, I don't I didn't resent them for it. They had they had had their shares of troubles, and only wanted to forget about those events. Whatever, whatever, it didn't matter anymore. That is how they were, and I didn't even want to contradict them. I just followed their orders. Life was simple. I didn't have to think anymore. They would do it for me. But that didn't protect me from boredom, from boredom and depression. Time was flying. Time was passing by, day by day, slowly and uneventfully. I was 18 years old, and until that day, nothing had ever happened to me. Have you ever have you ever felt this urgent need to just have fun till your life suddenly ends, to escape that reality and go somewhere else? Have you ever thought of being on the hi highway late at night so a car would hit you and tomorrow would be different from yesterday? Have you ever thought about cutting your veins only to stop your eventless life? If you did, just stop everything you're doing right now. And if you didn't, then keep going, man. Your life will be nice, whatever happens. Mine was event event eventless. But who has the courage to actually change one's own life? <clears throat> I did. I did. Yeah. I did have that power. At least I hoped I did. That was what I believed in. Suddenly, I felt like going out. I had to do something against my daily routines. I just wanted to go out and, talk and walk a little. Maybe something would happen. Please let something happen. I need something. I needed something to happen. That was me. I used to be a good-for-nothing little girl who dreamed for a change, but was too afraid to actually make it real. So this is how my city looks at looks like at night? Truly strange. I didn't think it'd be so lifeless. All shops were closed. I was alone. A deep silence. No cars. Just a... bar? No, it actually looks like a cafe. Why is it open this late at night? I tried to look inside. Many people there seemed to have been enjoying their night. Everything would have been normal if there weren't for those wings, fangs, horns, fur. Just what the heck is that? No one in the cafe looked human. I was a bit dizzy. Maybe they were just disguised? Yeah, it must have been it. Does it really matter in the end? I mean, isn't it the kind of thing I was asking for? Yeah, I should just go inside and see for myself. That was the first time I had decided to do something to change my life a little bit. The cafe was full of people, yet strangely, I couldn't see anyone who seemed normal. I went to the bar to ask for something to drink when a woman came to me. 
<laughs> my, my. Good evening, young lady. May I ask what you are? Vampire? You don't look like one. Maybe a succubus? Mm. No. Maybe a succubus? Mm, no. You're not bewitching enough. Clearly not a werewolf. Are you a zombie? Because we don't accept the likes of them here. Last time we had some issues with one of them because he absolutely wanted to eat another customer and... Er, excuse me, miss. I'm just... Oh, don't tell me you're a necromancer. I've never seen you before. Are you a... Owner, you should let her speak. She'd answer you if you gave her time. Oh, true. S sorry, dear. What are you? Er, I'm just a human being. <laughs> Oh gosh, I already want to cry. I, I already want to dive into a hole. <laughs> okay. How could you be a meteor human being? No owner, no human beings can enter this place that easily. Do you know anyone here? Oh, I know. I know. Someone invited you, didn't they? That must be it. That's so daring of your friend to let you see this part of. N no, I'm sorry. I saw the lights, then came in. That's all there is to it. Actually, I don't think I know anyone who's not human. Is it your first time here? How strange. You cannot enter this place if you have no links to anyone here. But it doesn't really matter. Now that you're here, please have fun in the small cafe of mine. Dear bartender, could you serve us something to drink? I'm afraid we can't, owner. Since we never had any human beings here, we don't have anything that would be suitable for them to drink. Oh my, I'm sorry, little one. It seems we can't even welcome you properly as we would do our own our, with our first-time guests. That's okay, don't worry. As an apology, you can ask me whatever you want about this place, sweetie. Er, okay then. What is this place? This place? It is Le Café de Midnight, dear. I think I, think I said that right. Non-human beings come here to spend some happy time with their friends. Isn't it wonderful? Café de Midnight? What does that mean? It's French, and it means Midnight's Café. It is named after one of my dearest friends. Doesn't it sound perfect for this place? I guess it is, but it sounds odd to me. Odd? Cafés aren't usually open at midnight. So? Who cares? This isn't your usual place, dear. Besides, why open a café during only during daytime? Human beings are interesting indeed, aren't they? I mean, you ask me for my race, but you look really human to me. Do I? I'm actually a necromancer, dear. The best of all. I bring dead bodies back to life. But I'm also the cafe owner. People usually call me M Mathilda. Mathilda? Apart from our precious bartender, who keeps on adding owner whenever he talks to me. Uh, a necromancer? Yes, is there a problem? No, a necromancer. You seem surprised. Indeed I am. Shouldn't I be? It's up to you to decide whether you are or not. Haha, <laughs> such an insensitive boy. No, you have the right to be surprised. Or even afraid, dear. But don't forget that everyone here has their own sensitivity, so try not to be rude with everyone, anyone. I'll do my best. Then that's good enough. You may only be here for one night, after all. I beg your pardon? It's the first time we've seen a human being here. We don't know who invited you and why. Maybe tomorrow you won't be able to come back. such a shame. <laughs> you flattered me, young girl. For the first time in my life, some, for, for the first time in my whole life, something interesting has happened. Wouldn't it be a shame if it was only a once-in-a-lifetime deal? What should I do? What a strange question. You can do whatever you want, dear. Would you, would you, can do, you can do whatever you want here, dear. Enjoy your night. Aren't you young? Make some friends or find out why you're here. You can also just stay at the bar and talk with us. Since it's your first time here, it may be hard. But don't hesitate to talk to everyone. I don't, think that's, I don't think that's really appropriate. Come on, we are all friends here. No more questions. Okay then, let the night begin. What a strange lady. But somehow, nothing felt wrong in staying with them, even though they were a little bit different. I went to the bar and took a chair. The cafe had an old, odd old-fashioned look. It was nice to be there. It felt like going 40 years back in time. 
I'm very sorry that I can't serve you anything. Our cafe's policy is to only serve people once we have the perfect drink for them. If I were to give you any other drink, I'm not sure you'd make it tomorrow. And since we never saw any human beings in here, I don't want you to die just because you drank some cursed virgin's blood. That would be bothersome, I guess. But I don't have much to lose, you know? You do. Your life. Haha, <laughs> usual. You only know how much things are precious once you've lost them. Could be. But indeed, it would be sad for you to die that young. I guess so, though many people die really quickly. As soon as their life starts, really starts, they fade away, and the world is left unchanged. What was so precious in their life if it was that fast forgotten? You may be right, and everyone is bound to die one day or another. You seem to think of death really lightly, as if it is nothing important. I did take it lightly. Of course, death was just a mere concept after all. Trust me, you do not want to die young. You lose so much more than you could th even think. Should I believe in a zombie who works as a bartender? It is because I'm a young zombie working as a, at a, as a bartender that you should trust me. I was about to say something back, but I heard a noise. Suddenly the mood in the cafe changed. Everyone, everybody tensed. Something strange was happening and they didn't know what. Owner? Are they at it again? Yes, they are. They never missed the opportunity to quarrel. Quarrel! <laughs> should we stop them? Owner? No. Let them be. It doesn't seem to particularly bother the customers. Whether they are used to it or they think it's fun, it doesn't matter. It didn't seem like a simple quarrel to me. They were throwing fists at each other in a serious manner. I was astonished to see their speed and the way they moved. How could a human being be so fast and skillful? Wait. I almost forgot. They were not human. That's what I was going to say. Excuse me, sir, but what's happening? Our usual customers are fighting. It's not that uncommon. Don't worry. It may be impressive for you. It may be impressive for you, as you are not used to this kind of thing. Do you want to go and see for yourself what a fight between supernaturals looks like? Er, I may be curious, but wouldn't it be dangerous for mere human to get closer? I'm just a little bit tired. Um. So, how'd you guys do? Okay, I hope you guys are doing good. I'll see you guys next time. I hope you sprouts all bloom and grow. Bye-bye.